हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पार्स ड्यूरेशन द नॉर्मल ड्यूरेशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी इज टू सेवेंटी डेज इफ वी आर काउंटिंग डेज फ्रॉम द डे ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड इफ वी काउंट डे फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल देन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल प्रेगनेंसी इज टू एटी फोर डेज नाउ कमिंग टू द मेकेजम बिहाइंड द पार्चुरेशन देर इज ए स्टिल कंसिडरेबल असंटेंटी अबाउट द मेकेजम रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ऑन सेट ऑफ लेबर बट वन फैक्टर इज दैट द इंक्रीज लेवल ऑफ एस्ट्रोजन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द पार्चुरेशन एंड दिस इंक्रीज इन एस्ट्रोजन लेवल इज ड्यू टू द इंक्रीज इन द लेवल ऑफ डाई हाइड्रो एपी एंड एस्ट्रोन सल्फेट्स ओके एंड वॉट आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ एस्ट्रोजन आफ्टर इंक्रीजिंग इट्स लेवल द फर्स्ट इफेक्ट इज दैट द इंक्रीज इन नंबर ऑफ गैप जंक्शंस बिटवीन द मायोमेटेरियल सेल्स एंड इफ देर इज इंक्रीज इन नंबर ऑफ गैप जंक्शन देर विल बी सिंक्रोनाइजेशन बिटवीन द मायोमेटेरियल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन सो फॉर द फर्स्ट वन इज दैट द सिंक्रोनाइज मायोमेटेरियल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन द सेकेंड वन इज द इंक्रीज इन पोस्टाग्लैंडिन सिंथेसिस and the third one is the increased number of oxytocin receptor so that uh, same amount of oxytocin can work more efficiently okay so the basic three uh, fun, three effects of the increased level of estrogen at the time of parturition that is the first one is an increase in number of gap junction which will promote synchronized myometrial contraction the second one is increase in level of the prostaglandin and third one is increased number of oxytocin receptors now coming to the second part of this uh, mechanism crh secretion corticotropin releasing hormone amount will also increase before parturition and due to two reason fetal hypothalamus will increase secretion of crh and also placenta will also supplement the amount of crh so because of this two crh amount will decrease increase crh secretion by fetal hypothalamus increases and also supplemented by placental production of crh this increase in crh will stimulate adrenocorticotropic hormone release from pituitary and again this adrenocorticotropic hormone release will promote the release of cortisol okay and this and this increase in cortisol helps in lung maturity by increasing the pulmonary surfactant okay and this prepares the fetus for the birth because uh, after birth the fetus has to be respire by the lung so increase level of surfactant is necessary for preventing the collapsing of lung so these are the two basic principle before the parturition now coming to the role of oxytocin during parturition oxytocin generally increase uterine contraction in two ways the first one is that it acts on uterine smooth muscle and causes contraction of this uterine smooth muscles to propel the fetus out of the uterine cavity the, the second one is also the second one is the stimulated formation of prostaglandin as uh, the prostaglandin formation is also stimulated by estrogen and this prostaglandin increase oxytocin induced contraction okay so these two ways through which oxytocin increases uterine contraction and uh, the uterine contraction by the oxytocin increases in positive uh, loop cycle okay uh, once the labor is started the uterine con- the uterine and the cervix will dilate and this dilation will set up signals in efferent nerves okay this dilation in cervix will send signal in efferent nerves which will increase ultimately oxytocin secretion okay the dilation of cervix is stimuli from cervix and vagina by the efferent nerve and then increase level of oxytocin and this increase level of oxytocin again causes more uterine contraction the more uterine contraction the more dilation the more dilation the more stimuli from the efferent nerves the more secretion of oxytocin so this is working in a feedback loop uh, in a positive feedback loop okay this was the effect of the oxytocin during parturition and more more important point about oxytocin is that uh, estrogen increases the number of oxytocin receptors as we have discussed okay but uh, in early labor in early level the oxytocin concentration in maternal plasma in early in early labor the oxytocin con- uh, concentration in maternal plasma is not elevated in comparison to the pre labor value the pre labor value of the oxytocin in plasma is 25 picogram per ml and in the pre level pre labor level level of the oxytocin and in the 
initial part of the initial early labor the level of oxytocin remains same but it action increases due to the increase in number of oxytocin receptors okay so this is the concept which i will use uh, in my next video to explain a conceptual question okay so mind it so thanks for watching